Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and here is the new Raspberry Pi 400. And here I am teaching you all the tricks to run it with dual monitors. Being productive and efficient on a computer has become synonymous with dual screens. So let me go through the list of what we will need to make dual monitors run. You will need a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B or a Raspberry Pi 400, like I have right here. You'll also need two monitors with HDMI input, the power plugs for the two monitors, two micro HDMI to HDMI cords, a USB mouse and a keyboard, and a USB-C charger. That's to deliver the power to the Raspberry Pi device. So the cords, processors, and options to set up dual monitors will be exactly the same for both microprocessors, except the connections will go in in slightly different places. As you can see, all the GPI pins can be accessed just the same, and all the peripheral connections are also exactly the same. It's just in a keyboard. So let me now demonstrate on the table with the Raspberry Pi 400 putting in all the connections. Crucially are the micro HDMI plugs, which are found here and here. On a Raspberry 4 Model B, the micro HDMI plugs connectors are here and here. Now, with almost all the plugs in and noobs installed to the SD card, check out link guides in the description if that's new to you. We'll plug in the USB-C and get juice into this Raspberry Pi 400. So long as everything is done correctly, dual monitors should be a go. You will initially see both the screens do their color grading image and then the Raspbian OS will greet you. Almost too easy. Worth noting, when you are using two monitors, the video out quality maxes out at 4K 30 frames per second for both the monitors. When you're using only a single monitor, the video out quality maxes out at 4K at 60 frames per second. This is for all versions and revisions of the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Now, let me demonstrate how you can alter dual monitors in Raspbian OS. Starting with the appearance setting window. This window can be found by right clicking anywhere on the desktop and then clicking on desktop preferences in the menu toolbar that opens up right next to your cursor. So the two tabs let you alter settings for each monitor. If you just wanted the both monitors to display the same image, you can just click right here, press OK, and you'll see that the same image appears for both sides. We go back into desktop preferences and change this away. If we go into, say, over here, file system or the Pi system, press OK here, you'll see that all of the folders in that lower level are now shown on the desktop. So these checkboxes can be used on the bottom of the desktop tab to automatically show all the application icons within that folder of your Raspberry Pi to the specific desktop. Another window that lets you customize the dual monitor setup is the screen layout editor. This program will allow you to decide how these two monitors will be positioned relative to each other and from the top to the bottom. So this will enable you to line up the pixels so when you drag a window from one monitor into another, it will be seamless. So this particular window can be found in the start menu, which is the raspberry symbol in the top left corner, and accessed by clicking on it. Then keeping the cursor hovered over the menu, going down to the preferences, going across, and then clicking on screen configuration. By clicking on this, you can decide exactly the placement of your two monitors. Perhaps you'd want them stacked. The final customizable window you can access is panel settings. Now, if you go into the top taskbar and right click on it, and then hover your mouse inside the menu bar down to the option panel preference, panel settings. Over here, you can click on this and it opens the program to the right called Panel Preferences. Go into the Monitor tab and then clicking on that will allow you to decide whether the top toolbar exists only for one monitor or if it stretches all the way along to the other one. Left, top, bottom, right, monitor one, monitor two, or monitor all. And all of these let you affect exactly how you'd like your Raspberry Pi toolbar panel to be. So, if you know any other ways to alter the Raspbian OS experience in dual monitors, swing us a comment. And if you enjoy our content, 
come and like and subscribe. And with that, until next time, stay cozy.